everybody. I uh, just want to do a little video post today. I'm very sorry about the recent kind of dearth in postings. Um, that's just because I've had midterms the last couple of weeks, so I've been sort of stuck on studying. Um, and now I am back. Um, so today I just want to talk about a little experience I had in Kmart last night when I was buying uh, paper towels. So in, this is sort of becoming a more common retail practice. Is companies will uh, big retailers will tack on this sort of thing at the end of your purchase where you you know you go through the line and you swipe your card or whatever and then it'll end you you've got uh, all your stuff checked out. They say, would you like to donate to XX charity today? Um, and usually I think for a lot of people, you know, your response is no, um, blah blah blah. Um, and I said uh, he, he asked me if I wanted to donate, I think it was a children's hospital, um, and he said, or I, he asked me if I wanted to donate, and I said, no, not today. Um, and he said to me, right back, real snappy, um, something like, I don't remember exactly, um, when's going to be the right day, or when will be the day that will work for you to save a, a kid's life, or something like that. Um, now, I, I was just sort of taken aback. I just sort of stopped there for a second. I wasn't really sure what to say. Uh, I didn't say anything else about it. I took, kind of took my stuff and left. Um, I want to talk about this quickly because I feel it's more the traditional approach to um, the nonprofit fund generation or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I don't feel that it's the right way, the right way, to, or the right way to think about it. Um, the way that he phrased it, uh, when it's going to be the right day for you to X, um, it, it, it implies to me an obligation to do something. Um, and I don't think that anyone is, <coughs> is, is truly, truly obligated to do something like that. doesn't mean that, you know, you have the right to kind of uh, go on producing greenhouse gases, which I think is a different type of issue because you're producing it creates a cost for someone else, an externality. Um, but with these other sort of um, children's hospitals, um, even more the, the, the global poverty issues, I feel that you need to be motivated about that. You shouldn't just feel like, um, you know, you shouldn't feel guilt about your own uh, wealth or whatever. Um, and that, that having that should make you feel guilty and let it, you know, donate some money. It's really almost a guilt payoff, you know. You want to just sort of get rid of that that problem, that guilt. So you just kind of throw some money over there and declare yourself be done with it. I don't think that this is the right approach. I think you need to go with problems, go with issues that you feel passionate about. Um, because I think that's the area where you're going to make the most difference. And also, um, you know, just doing a charity at the end of the line, right, with this kind of snap decision, um, it's not really what you should be doing because you don't have the benefit of looking them up on Charity Navigator and seeing, you know, how much they pay uh, in administrative costs. What's their, how much overhead? Do they have a lot of overhead or, they, or is most of your money going directly to, to the cause or to, to, to helping out or whatever? Because um, some are quite a bit different than others. Um, so I don't, I don't think people should feel guilty about saying no at the end of the checkout line. Um, and, I, you know, that's just my opinion. I've never, that's why I like running something like the factions where it's a business. Um, and, you know, that's, that's, that's the mode is that I'm not obligated to one part of my product. I don't think people are bad people if they don't buy my company's products because maybe I've got something wrong. Maybe they don't like, uh, you know, organic. Maybe they think there's a more sustainable method. Um, so they're free to go try something else, or maybe they just don't think it's necessary. Okay, go buy something else. Um, I'm here to convince people that my product is, is, is good, and uh, I don't think charity should get off the hook uh, just based on guilt. They should convince people that what they're doing is good, and uh, just at the end of the checkout line, throw it in if they shouldn't be surprised if I say no. They shouldn't be surprised if you say no. So leave in the comments, tell me what you think. Uh, if you think I'm a callous person or that this contradicts what I'm doing, let me know because uh, I'm still thinking about it. So.
Leave your comments. I'm interested to hear. And uh, I have two more things in the, in the notes, which were uh, just links that popped up on um, my internet travels today that I also posted on Twitter. Very interesting about Kenya, uh, Kenya's cotton industry, and um, the lead up to Copenhagen um, in uh, climate change talk. So see those in the notes, and uh, have an excellent day.